Who loves pizza? Yay, we all do. I hope that you are excited about pizza because you get to make your own pizza today. <clears throat> you won't want to eat it because it's made out of clay. You, it's homemade clay that you can make. Yay! We are going to make some homemade clay. In order to do that, you'll need a nice big bowl, something to mix it with, a nice spoon. I've got some flour here, flour, salt, and water. So there's different recipes that you can use. The one we're going to use today takes two and a half cups of flour, one cup salt, one cup water, and then some food coloring. So we also have food coloring. So the way that we do that to begin with, it's kind of fun to work with flour and in the kitchen and measuring things. Make sure to get your parents' permission before you do this and be sure to clean up after yourself. This is a one cup measure and we need two and a half cups of flour. We're starting with the flour. So here is one cup. Two cups. And I said two and a half, so I'm going to use my one half cup measure also. Two and a half cups. See, one half cup. The next thing that we need is a lot of salt. We need one cup salt. Now you would never put this much into food that you're eating because it would taste awful. It would be so salty. But we're not eating this clay. Don't eat our clay. We're not eating it. We're using it to make stuff. In particular, right now, we're going to make some clay pizza. But first we have to make the clay. So we have our we have our flour and our salt in here. Now there's other recipes you can use too. Some of them call for cream of tartar. If you use that, if you have it, that's great. I don't happen to have it here. And I'm not going to the store right now because of COVID-19. So I'm using what I have and it will not last as long as if it had cream of tartar, but it'll last for a little while and we can have some fun with it. The next thing that I'm going to add is water. Now, when I add the water, I'm going to kind of add it a little bit at a time and keep mixing because I know how flour and water react. They mix together and they get kind of gloopy, which is kind of what we want because we're making clay, but we want the water to be spread out. We don't want it all in one spot. So I'm kind of mixing it up around in the bowl. And like I said, we're going to be sure to be responsible and clean up after ourselves, right? That way you're allowed back in the kitchen. <laughs> I remember I was in 4-H as a kid and our 4-H leader had us over to her house and she was teaching us something about cooking and she said, and you better be sure to clean up afterwards or else your mom might not want you back in the kitchen again. Well, I think she would have let me back in the kitchen again, but she surely did appreciate when I cleaned up. Okay, so we have now added our flour, our salt, and our water. Now, it doesn't quite look like clay yet, does it? I think what we need is to kind of abandon the spoon and get busy mixing it with my hands. Now, if I need to, I will add a little bit more water because as it stands right now, it may or may not have enough. It looks like I might need a little bit more water just so that everything will stick together. See how it's starting to, to look like clay? That's a very, very good sign. Okay, as you can see, I have the clay at a nice consistency now. It didn't take that much longer. 
I just happened to get a telephone call during the last video. So um, here it is, and it, it's just a big ball. So what we're going to do is I have four colors of, of food coloring. I have my basic primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue, red, yellow, and blue, red, yellow, and blue. The primary colors are, you said it, red, yellow, and blue, red, yellow, blue. And from there, 